Welcome to Toffee TV and it's the match reaction. Leicester City 1 Everton 1. Everton have their first point of the season. Uh, and it's it was two points dropped. It's the only way to look at it. It's disappointing. I know it might sound a sort of negative way of looking at it, but there isn't really any other way to look at it when you haven't won a game of football all season and you play in a game that you really should have had sewn up and didn't and, and were punished. And that's exactly what happened today. And Everton have fortunately got a point at the end of the day. And we go on now to Crystal Palace next week. Um, the team, the manager went with Ashley Young at left back, James Garner right back, Michael Keane, Tarkovsky in the middle. He dropped him in a boonum and brought the core right back in as I thought he would. The new the core right start today had Mangala in there as well. And then obviously he had Jai and Lindstrom wide. I didn't think he played Lindstrom, but he did. Um, I thought Everton started the game quite well, in all fairness. I think they got older the game. Just looked a little bit sharper than Leicester. I think Leicester, are, I feel like Leicester are going to struggle this season. I really do. I'm not saying Everton aren't, by the way, but I feel like Leicester are going to struggle this season. And that's why it's a disappointing result. That's why it's a frustrating result, because they, they do look short. We we took the lead. Great play from Illiman and Dyke. Lovely ball actually by Ashley Young. It has to it has to be mentioned. You know, he's had his critics absolutely and he's deserved it sometimes. Other times I think people use him as an easy stick to uh, to beat the team with. But I thought it was a great little ball through. Great touch from and Jai come inside and it back across the keeper to give us the lead. And at that stage we were we were well in control of the game and we sort of, we had another couple of little moments. Lindstrom had had a chance actually very early on that he just couldn't get to. It was an Njai cross and he was on the stretch and put it wide and he had another one. He fired over, but the rain sort of, the rain changed Everton's dominance in the game. It sort of, it, it arrived after about 20 minutes or so. And the, the game just sort of petered away in the rain. You know, we had moments on the counter attack where it looked like we could possibly get a second goal. Calvert Loon went down on the edge of the box. Not sure whether it was a foul or not. Um I didn't really get a chance to see it again. And half time came with with not really that much happening. You know, you're looking and thinking, although sorry, there was in first half injury time, Everton cleared the Leicester corner and Dwight McNeil. The ball got played up to McNeil and he had a clear run into the Leicester half and the referee blew the whistle, which was a really poor decision. Um, you know, we'd put three minutes additional time and two players had been down in that three minutes. So he should have allowed that to play out. He didn't. We went in 1-0 up and come out for the second half. And again, Everton sort of had, had a bit of control of the game, but without really doing much. Leicester were flat. They didn't look like they had anything really to hurt us. And we had a good a good attempt um, on the break. Again, ball fed into Dominic Calvalu and it's a really good low shot. Keeper made a good save and Leicester cleared it. And again, other than that, there was nearly moments where, where we were we were breaking quickly and we just couldn't find a killer pass. And Leicester, we allowed them back in the game. They got a little bit of a head of steam up. Started putting us under a bit of pressure. And the the killer really is that we can't kill these teams off. And if you don't kill these teams off, then it comes back and punishes you. And that's exactly what happened. Let's the City get a corner. The corner comes into the box. I feel the goalkeeper's got to come and deal with it. And he doesn't. He just goes and stands on his line. It breaks down into the box. And Mav Mavidi, Mav Mavidi puts it in the net. Or Mavadidi even puts it in the net and it's one one and you're back to square one and the front and again then you could feel you could see the frustration on the, the players, you know. Whereas it was a game where they felt they were comfortably ahead and it was they were pegged back and it is those moments you've gotta be you've gotta be assured, you've gotta be brave and go and kill the game off and we just the wrong decision at times inside the penalty area. We'd had op an option Opportunity just before Jesper Lindstrom went off where it was him and Jai and 
He sort of plays the right ball, but it's slow enough for the defender to get something on it, and therefore the chance goes. The core fired a great cross to the back post for Calvert Loom, but there's a defender there just to tuck, put his toe out and you know clear it away. And you know Leicester did the the post in the first half again a cross coming and Pickford almost caught out and pushes it onto the bar and a post and grabs hold of it before Vardy can get it over the line and. That's where the disappointment comes and, you know, the games keep going by and Everton can't win games of football. That's the worry. You know, the, Leicester's goal for the second time in a week is a, is a, a centre, uh, sorry, a set piece just floated in. There's no real skill or there's no real, um, you know, plan. It's just a ball into an area and we don't deal with it and it's ended up in the back of our net and that's something. That Sean Dykes normally prides himself on coaching that so they're not the cheap goals you give up and they got one today and he had another moment where Jordan Pickford had to come and punch. You know, and I felt like he should have come and punched for their equaliser. But listen, it, it, we've ended up with a point. Um, again, it, it, you know, seeing messages and People's comments, there's a lot of frustration around that this game was there for the taking. Leicester City don't look at it right now. And that seemed like a really big opportunity today to get that win and just start, you know, a little bit of momentum coming with, with Crystal Palace to come home. And the fact they've not been able to close the game out. Yes, they're off the mark. We've got our first point of the season. We haven't lost today, which is, a you know, it's a quite a big thing for us now as a football club, not to lose a game. Or seems to be the accepted thing at the minute, losing. So that's, let's say, I guess we've stopped that. But it's we can't keep throwing games away. You know, that's the lead against Bournemouth, the lead against Villa, lead against Southampton in the Cup, the lead today. We've been pegged back in every single game and that isn't good enough. It's a terrible trait to have. We're not able to kill teams off, which is another poor trait to have. So it isn't great at the minute. We're playing a team who will undoubtedly be in the relegation battle at the end of the season and, and we've been unable to beat them. And that'll be the frustrating thing that um that I think most Evertonians will be looking at. Listen, some will be glass half full and, and fair play to them and they'll be delighted that we've got a point. Uh, you know, and, and all of that. But I think the worry is that game was there for us and we haven't been able to beat you know, to beat them like the Bournemouth game was there and we, we lost the game. So there's still big question marks over the team and over the managing and the coaches and all of that as to what is going on. Why can't we defend? Why can't we defend straight balls into our box and set pieces? Why do we make it look very, very difficult? You know, they'd already had chances in the first half. We didn't pick them up, you know. Wilfred and Deedy had a great chance, didn't take it. Um, a Coley is it the centre back put a header over from about three yards out with an open goal you know they're the moments that we still could be caught short with so there's got to be a big improvement but we haven't lost today man of the match is a tricky one um, I think I'm going to give it to Njai I think Ilham and Njai overall was Everton's best player I thought Lindstrom done alright but obviously got to really you know he had a, a good shot in the first half Keeper made a good save from him. He's put one over, which he, he should have done a bit better with him one wide. But he's looking sharp and he's looking a bit more inventive. So that's positive. But I thought Mangala done all right today. I wasn't overly impressed with his performance of filler or against. I thought he was really poor against Southampton. I thought he was a lot better today. Looked a lot fitter. Got on the ball when he could. Tired late on. But I thought... Overall, Wilfred, uh, Wilfred. Overall, Illiman and Jai was Everton's best player, so he is my man of the match. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. See you later.